G'day guys, this is Wolf from All Played Fishing. Uh, this is going to be the surface video for Hins Dam. I got it into two videos this trip. I'm going to do a soft plastics video next, and this one obviously going to be the surface one. And basically, I just wanted to let you know how we went, um, what we learnt, what we can try in New South Wales dams, um, how we just thought the dam fish in general as well, which was very different to the dams um, down here, that's for sure. But yeah, I just want to talk about what we used on surface. So that little right there is the Savage Gear Top Prey um, in the 70mm in the sand shrimp colour. So this is not like a popper as such. It doesn't pop like that more. It sort of walks walk the dog, they call it. So it kind of goes side to side like that. And um, it more represents like a bait fish engine on top going across the top. So we didn't use anything else really apart from that. We just thought we'd match the hatch, stick with it. And it did work when the fish were hitting the top. But yeah, I wanted to talk about that really quick. It's a very hit and miss dam for surface. Now, I don't know what it was. It might have been just the, the, the three days we were there for, but we found that if you weren't seeing fish hit the top, there's no point fishing top at all. Where down here in low light conditions, you can still fish top without sort of seeing buffs all around you. Um, yeah, so that we found that very interesting. Like if you didn't see any buffs, you wouldn't bother fishing. But if you saw a few bass hitting the top, we'd hammer it straight away to where that buff was. And we'd, as soon as we pretty much hit the water, we're doing a couple of twitches and that walk the dogs just going side to side like an injured bait fish. And then we pause it for about five seconds and usually on the pause they actually hit it. So, because we found that the bass were actually am like ambushing the bait and pushing them up into the timber, like around a tree. They would ambush them and hit. They'd pretty much buff on the timber and the bait was sort of, they sort of surround the bait around the timber, which was, yeah, I found really interesting. But yeah, so that was, that was for the, um, the top water side of things. That was, um, that's that guy there. Very good versatile lure for uh, top water in general, not just for bass, but yeah, just represented bait fish injured probably going across the top. Yeah, the bass did like it when they were hitting the top. So it's, it, we find it was only between 20 and half an hour they were sort of actively hitting the top. And then they just sort of go off. And then what we learned from the trip, we wasted a lot of time fishing top. When the buffs died off, we kept fishing top because we it just gets you excited because there's toga in the dam. We caught a toga on top. I didn't get that on film. I'm spewing about that. Um, literally changed the top water, first cast, bang. And I'm like, yeah, of course that happens. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Um, in the next video, there'll be a discussion on soft plastics, um, which I'll run through sizing, uh, colors, and jig heads. Um, by all means, I'm not an expert on the dam, so just what we use and what we had you know, fairly good success on. So keep watching guys, let me know what you think and um, yeah, see you in the next one. Another hit, another buff. It's calm, overcast. I don't understand why. Little bust up there. Ooh. Oh. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's incredible. Big fish. It's proper busting up. Heart was racing then. That's crazy. Proper busting up. Oh.
tiger. Oh. He had it. He had it. That's a tiger, man. Oh, he dropped it. Oh my god. My heart is racing. Alright, let's see if I get him. Oh, about 15 meters. Oh, get off, get off, get off. Come on. Get off. Ah. Oh. Come on, come on, come on. I I should have been quicker. Big fish, man. I think that was a tiger, that first one. Oh. Yep, got him. Oh. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Oh, good fish. Oh. <laughs> Had three goes at that. The first, the first buff was like big, eh? Yeah, he's not bad. He'd be 40. On the top, out in the middle, eh? He's not bad, he's probably 41. Man, you should have seen the first hit one that hit me, eh? I don't know if it was the same fish, but it was big. I thought it was a toga. There he is, he's probably 41. Yep. He's 40. 40 centimeters. Beautiful bass. Oh, that was awesome. Yeah, literally, they get right up against the tree and they must like corner them, the bait. Yep. And they literally buff at the tree, eh? It's crazy. I think the toga was about 30 meters up there where I hooked him. He won't come back for him, no, no way. He was, he had three attempts. <laughs> I still reckon you're only for a chance with a toga if you don't see a buff. But if you see a buff, you're in for a great chance of the bass. I reckon. I reckon we go back on the other side because I've fished along here. Like imagine like, you know how lock sock goes off in um, October? Imagine if it was like that. Oh, toga. Togs. Oh. Oh, yes. Doesn't matter. Get him in. That was roughly where... Oh, he got oh no! Oh. It was in his mouth. I saw it. That's why I was trying to take my time. Oh. I didn't want to reef it out of his mouth. Yep. He would have been like 50 something. Yes. He was right on that tree. He hit it straight away. Yep. No. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I saw it, it was right in his mouth, the whole lure. Yep. And that's why I said, like, I'm going to take my time, like... Yeah. And he, as soon as he turned, then he just, it just fell out. I reckon we go over here, anyway. Yeah. Man, we've, um... Well, that's three tiger we've missed now. Or four, like... No, yeah, three. All up, this trip. Yeah. Three tiger. I wasn't looking, so... Oh! I think it was a bass. I wasn't looking the first time. He missed it. Ah, oh, you're joking. 
Well, just throw on that. Oh, toga. Yep. Saw it. You missed it. <laughs>